In this video, I'm going to show you some more HP Reverb through the lens videos. You want to see DCS and this is exactly what I'm giving you now. And all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and ASME and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. The HP Reverb is slowly getting more available. People in the UK can already order it and I'm sure in more countries this is going to be the case Two. Now let's have a look at DCS through the lens and before we do so let me tell you that I'm running everything on a GDX 1080 Ti and here we go. And here we are in DCS and just like before I'm filming everything with my smartphone and well it's not easy to do through the lens videos. I tried it with several other cameras but then you have lots of problems actually with the refresh rate of the panels and with the smartphone actually it looks quite acceptable so that's why I'm doing it with the smartphone and it looks not bad you can at least get an idea of how the picture in the HP Reverb looks like and it looks great amazing it's just so good to see DCS and all the other games actually this kind of near photorealism quality look at the text doesn't it look like as if you were actually in the cockpit or actually as if you would be reading it from a normal screen and I think that's quite the accomplishment with the HP Reverb and also like looking out here it's amazing it is simply breathtaking and again this is the best picture in virtual reality that you can get right now in this moment. There's no other headset that looks as sharp and near photorealistic as the HP Reverb. So now I'm doing DCS. As you can tell, I did x 11, but I think I should also do Elite Dangerous. I believe that lots of you would like to see Elite Dangerous on the HP Reverb through the lens. I did take a picture through the lens of Elite Dangerous for my full HP Reverb review that you absolutely should watch, but I think a video would be even better. And then you will see that the the blacks, the blacks are actually quite nice for an LCD. They have done a great job here with the blacks. And of course, it's not as perfectly pitch black as, for example, OLED displays, but they've done a great job here with the HP Reverb and the black levels. So once again, just to make sure that you got it, I'm using a GDX 1080 Ti, so not even a 2080 Ti or something like this. So with my 1080 Ti, I can play DCS, I can play x 11, and I can play all the games that I want to play. Actually, I can play all games without any problems. Of course, it would be better to have a 2080 Ti and I believe that lots of you, you sim fans out there who are watching this right now, probably you already have a 2080 Ti. But for those with a 1080 Ti, you can rest assured that you will have a good enough experience here with DCS. And just look at the knobs here, how everything looks like, all the gauges, you can read everything. It simply looks as if you were sitting in that cockpit. It's so clear, again, close to photorealism, and I haven't seen that in any of the other headsets. And as you know, I have them all. One thing is really important to tell you guys, it looks even better when you are really wearing the headset, right? Because you will see everything in 3D, you have you are in the perfect sweet spot, not like with my smartphone trying to get it. So you will even have a better experience than what you see right now. To see everything in 3D is simply amazing and breathtaking. So now I'm in the air here and look at this cockpit. Just look at the gauges, look at everything. It's, it's, it's so amazing. I was really so amazed when I was in that game and when I was playing it. Yeah, but also, I won't stay in the air here for very long. <laughs> I crashed really, really soon since it was simply too complicated to hold the HP Reverb, to hold the smartphone and to try to actually, yeah, to fly, <laughs> to fly this plane. Now, yeah, here's my last try to, to save it, but nope, 
did not work at all. So, but still, I, I kept on filming the replay for a bit, <laughs> just to show you that. Anyway, so yeah, thanks to the to the HP Reverb, actually, I kind of am really excited to try more of these these flight simulators. Before, I didn't really get into it, but now since I have the HP Reverb, I actually really want to fly more since it's such a good experience. I really wish I had more time to get into it and to really learn how to fly all these planes, especially those huge planes, not even the fighter planes. I would love to, to fly those commercial planes and simply get a feeling of how it is like. But unfortunately, I got so many VR videos to make for you, so I don't really have the time to do it. Anyways, enough of that replay. Let's have a look at some more footage. And uh, yeah, I, I stayed in the air a bit longer this time. So here we go. Yeah, look at the cockpit, look at the gauges again. Perfect, you can read everything. It is so nice. But also looking out right now, check this out. It looks so great. And even better, of course, if you really wear the HP Reverb and if you can see everything, in 3D. Also, I was asked quite a lot of times, yeah, Sebastian, how, how is it with uh, looking further away? Is everything more clear than in the other headsets? And I can say, yes, everything is more clear. We have 2,160 times 2,160 pixels per eye. That is so much more than in the other headsets. So yes, also looking further away, you can see more detail without a doubt. And yeah, this is the headset to go for Simulator fans, at least in this at this moment in time, the others are no comparison at all. And I did also try the Rift S, of course. It's also actually a good headset and actually it looks really nice as well, but it still cannot compete against this kind of photorealism that 2160 times 2160 pixels can give you. This is kind of the sweet spot. This is really the right kind of resolution that will give you this kind of feeling. So good that we have that in 2019 already. I believe that the HP Reverb will also be so good in location-based VR experiences, like those like The Void, where, where you have this backpack computer on your back. And uh, I can just imagine it must be so cool to enjoy location-based VR with this headset because right now actually the Void and all the others they're still using some first generation headsets some Oculus Rifts which well it's still a good experience but having this and having like close to photorealism in these amazing location-based experiences that must be so cool. Now for this headset I believe that it's not only for consumers I mean, well, we know it's not only for consumers, but actually also targeted at professional use. And I can totally get it. This must be perfect for pilot training, for commercial airlines, but also for military applications. I believe this is the one to go for right now, simply because you can really read everything so perfectly clear. And it's just such a great feeling to sit in that cockpit and to see everything with this level of clarity. So I've showed you DCS, I've showed you Explain 11, I will show you Elite Dangerous, and I think I should also show you some kind of racing simulator. So I would like to know, would you like to see Project Cars 2, or would you like to see iRacing? Which one do you want to see? Please do let me know in the comment section below, so I know which of the two I should show you. And you want to see me crash again? <laughs> no problem. I got you covered here as well. So it's tough to take those through the lens videos. Anyways, that's it for this through the lens video. Really hope that you enjoyed it. And that's it for this through the lens video of DCS with the HP Reverb. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so don't miss any of my upcoming videos.
And now I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.